Good day and welcome to this little flight. So this is going to be an attempted cold and dark start of the Hunter T1. It's a little training aircraft uh, used by the Red Arrows. But today it's parked at Amberley Air Force Base and near Ipswich, which is a little town near Brisbane. Uh, I think it's just west of Brisbane, not too far. We're going to try and navigate our way there, see if it works. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty new to this, so I'll probably get it all wrong. But we're going to start from cold and dark, taxi out, head uh, east towards Brisbane, do a little fly around the, the city, because I've seen the Hornets do it, and it looks pretty easy, so what could possibly go wrong? Um, and then we'll probably try and land at uh, Brisbane Airport. So I've got a scenery add-on for Brisbane. I've paid a lot of money for this plane. Um, let's see if we know what we're doing. So the plane itself looks pretty incredible. I mean, the detail's amazing. Uh, and the whole sim's actually pretty cool. The clouds and everything, but this thing is spectacular. So, I mean, if we if we take a look at the look at the, the light of the of the paintwork, it's incredible. Here we've got a little APU. I don't know what they call it on the top of the plane. That's we're going to start that up soon. It's got its little covers in. I think. It, anti-collision light I don't know what that thing is no there is up top there um, we've still got our uh, steps and everything because we haven't got into the plane yet we'll do that now but yeah let's see how we go so basically what we're gonna do is just to get my bearings right to see that little car is way down there taxi out there we don't have much wind as you can tell by the windsock taxi out there off we go never got our way to Brisbane shouldn't be too hard so let's get inside the plane now I do have some issues with my key bindings because there's my default head position but I think I'm pretty high up in the cockpit here so I think I should be down there but I'm I'm struggling to find the um, the key bindings to fix that so for now we're just going to live with this um, as you can see everything's off all the batteries down here the fuel cock thing is off I don't even think we can move our stick. Oh, we can move our stick. Uh, and rudders. Oh, rudders move. Okay, that thing wasn't meant to go off by itself. That's the rudder lock. It's not meant to work. Meant to do what it just did. Uh, we'll close this thing just now. We've got a seat. We're actually going to get to the back seat because part of the starter procedure is climbing to the back. All right, so we'll do that just now. But uh, let's start our thing. So we do have a checklist um, right there. And there's a lot of items, as you can see. So I'll put chapters in here. We'll make you skip forward if you don't want to see all this stuff. You probably don't. Um, but I believe you have to do the back first. So we're going to try to do that. I'm not very good at switching cameras either, but I think we press that. And we want to become a co-pilot. And there we go. We're in the back. We'll just make these things small for now. Okay, so we're in the rear cockpit. So, engine start to on. Now, this is going to take a while, so just relax. Engine start is to on. Top plane so my, This cover here has to stay on. Uh, anti, -squid, anti skid switch to on. Uh, now, I believe all of these things are already in their, in their default positions. They're all correct at the moment. Um, I'll just make sure uh, that that thing's meant to be down, I think. Yep. Uh, push in all those things. Hang on a second. Stick top safe. I don't know how to change that thing. I think that must stay down. Okay. So we'll go from the top here. We did that. That's on. Anti switch is on. The UF main. That th I can never find that damn thing. Yeah, it's this thing here. Okay, it's on main. Uh, the protector was down. Landing, landing selector was down. Yeah. Uh, gear transfer. So that's a button there. That's all good. Um, all right. So we'll just tick those. We did that. Pushed in. Flap selector to pupil. Where was that thing? Uh, just get some help there. Pupil. That's all good. That uh, uh, we don't have weapons, we don't have weapons, light switches all to off, and oxygen is on and contents checked, which I believe is that thing there, which means we got full, so we're good there as well. So I believe that's all you do in the back. 
Excellent. Now we're going to go off back to the front, and for that you just have to change the camera. We won't have to do it again after this, so we're going to go back to the pilot seat and get rid of our camera. Front. So landing gear selector is down. So down, down is pressed. Uh, battery switches to off. That's them over there. They're all off. I'll try and move this out the way. They're all off. We'll tick that. MCP coolant. I have no idea what that is. Oh, that thing there. Off. Um, not sure what that is. It's saying it's over here. Ah, I think it's a weapons thing. We don't have that in this plane. Microsoft don't allow it. So weapons. That's a weapons thing. Uh, that weapons. Weapons thing. Sticks. Uh, that's that little thing. I believe oxygen. So we have to make sure oxygen is on, and we also check it over here. Oxygen is full. Excellent. We're going to need that. We're not going to go very high. Uh, rear cockpit's done. Front cockpit's done. So we're done. Now we can do our next story of things. Um, rudder pedal lock off. So we switch that thing off. Uh, we'll check that. Battery switch to on. So that, I believe, is that there. And then you just have to press that because it's cool. Got a little oxygen thing moving. Excellent. Um, the vaults. I can't remember. Does it have to go to... Uh, yeah, I think it's anything above 24. And then we switch our other one on. And it stays above 24 then. I think we can switch this one off just to make sure. It's like magnetos really. And still stays above. So we'll leave those all on. Sweet. We have batteries. Nav lights are on. And I think those are over here somewhere, aren't they? Nav. Like, switch that on. Uh, I don't know what that thing is, so let's try to find it quickly. No, nope, don't know where it is. Maybe we don't have one. We'll just take it. Must be fine. Parking brake is on, so a parking brake is over here. I, no, I think that's off now. So I'll use my joystick just to put it back on. I think that's on. Uh, we'll check the item. Chocks removed, so we'll go outside and look. As you can see, we have chocks on the wheels. Bang, bang. And before that, I think we have to check our brake pressure. Uh, and there we go. So they're all pretty good. So we can now take away our chocks. Press that. Look outside. Oh my god, they're gone. That's incredible. Uh, flags and covers removed. So we'll just check that. Flags and covers. Yep, as you can see, we've still got our covers. There's our covers and there's our little flags hanging all over the plane. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to remove those. Oh, sure. I probably should remove them first. And the steps, as you can see, we have steps here. Oh, little pilot sitting there now. Whoa, we look smoking. Just looking, twisting our head side to side. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, we're going to lose our stairs now. So, stairs are gone. And just to make sure, look at that. The plane is sitting by itself now. And But we're draining the battery, so let's make a move. So, initial checks uh, for the left console. So we're done with that. We're going to zoom back. The left console is this thing here. Uh, LP cock on. So that thing there has to be on. Don't know what it is. Uh, engine start switch to off. I think we had that. So, okay, that's still off. Uh, fuel pump switch to on. We have a fuel pump on. It's making a noise. That's a good sign. Uh, Pitter switch must be off, I think, because it gets too hot on the ground. Uh, tailplane standby trigger. Tri uh, uh, that's the thing. I keep checking it. It looks like this is something you really want to keep down. So we're going to keep that. Uh, tick that item. Ignition to normal. Uh, ignition, 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 ignition. Where the hell is ignition? Ignition. Is that ignition? Let's have a look just to make sure. I think it's ignition. Yeah, ignition normal up. That's cool. Uh, throttle HP to off. I think we have to switch that thing. Uh, anti squid switch, anti skid switch is still off, and that's that thing there, and it is down. So we're good there. UHF, standby UHF, standby UHF. Well, it's got to be a somewhere. There it is there, and it's on main, which it is. It's in the middle, so we're good there. And brake check pressure, they're all good. 
Cool. Now we'll move to the left instrument panel, which I think is over here somewhere. What's it? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, okay. This undercarriage standby. I think that's this thing here. Undercarriage. And that's uh, not pulled. It will be out. So we'll tick that. Uh, stand. Flap standby. I think that's this one here. It's not pulled. So that seems good. Good. We've got batteries. So we've got four green lights. That's good. Whoops. Voltmeter 23 and that does seem to be 23 and a half. That's fine. Uh, flap selector is up. So we'll push that. Did they even move? But we've got no hydraulics, so they shouldn't have moved there. Eh? No, they're still. Okay. That's sweet. Watch out, dude. You know, those earphones will help you. Uh, flap selector is up. Flap indicator is confirmed. That's that thing there. It's up. UHF on set as required. Um, UHF was this guy down here. On set as required. I assume main is on? I'm not sure. Seems right. Uh, weapon section, we don't have any weapons on the plane. Uh, I've not been ticking these things. You say? Wait, what have I done here? Did I scroll too far? Yes, I did. Uh, okay, so we switch off. Uh, we just uh, mark all our weapon stuff as done because we don't have any. We don't have bombs. We don't have a gun. We definitely don't have bombs. And we're done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the left. So we're up here somewhere, I think. Too fast. Uh, DJI flag retracted. Now, I think this is the DJI here, and there's no flag on it. So we're good. Turn on slip indicator. It's centered and everything is good and there's no flag. Accelerometer. That's this thing here. That's going to show our G's. You push. There we go. It's at 1, one G. Uh, main attitude indicator. I, th I think that's this one. I don't know. That's the standby one. Eh? So it must be this one. And we have a flag. Flag showing. HSI. Shit, 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 shit. Now I'm confused. HSI, HSI, that thing. Uh, we have a flag, so its flag is showing. Uh, this thing has to be unslaved, so we'll just move to the side here. And that has to be unslaved. Oh no, hang on, my mouse is playing games. Give me a second. For some stupid reason, I have to pull the battery out of the mouse, put it back in, and my mouse is back. No, it's not back. Please come back, mouse. I'll just talk about stuff so long and just freak out at the stupid Logitech mouse. Ah, there we go. Uh, this thing has to go to slave, so I think we hear a noise now. What's going on? I'm losing my mouse all the time. Uh, uh, what is happening here? Just hang on a second, it's amazing. It, it lets me move around. And there's the mouse back, and now the mouse is back. That's incredible. Uh, so this we want to switch to slave. Check. I think this is gun stuff again. ISIS. <laughs> Don't control ISIS. Uh, we test the ILS light. I think you just press that. And it, it, you can see it illuminates quickly. So that's good. Uh, UHF power switch, I think, is on norm. Oh, that's a mistake. But, uh, in the checklist, I remember hearing that that should be on uh, on normal. So I'm just going to take that. Uh, main altimeter, we are showing a flag, I believe. That's There must be that red stuff. Looks cool. Standby attitude. Uh, flag retracted. That must be this guy here, and we have no flag on it. Standby instrument panel, normal. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Let's press a little guy. What are we looking for? I don't know. Something should be on normal here. Ah, there we go. Uh, normal. That seems cool. Excellent. We are done with the left panel. Center. No, we're done with this one. Sorry. Uh, we're now looking at the right side. So oxygen. Uh, our oxygen light is out. We can breathe. Oxygen content is over half. Our oxygen is on full. So we're good there. Oxygen confirmed flow. That's this little. Oh, my head's in the wrong position. Um, 
Oh, it's as soon as I... It's as soon as I move the screen. That sucks. Uh, oxygen is flowing, so we can confirm that. Fuel contents. Um, it's not a lot, but stuff it. We'll be fine. Uh, rotation indicator. It's this thing here, and it's black. Uh, GTS. Is that gas turbine starter or something? Uh, that is checked. And this thing here. So we open that and press that. That's cool. We have to clear it. And that closes again. That all worked. And we are good. Lighting switch as required. So I think you put anti-collision on the ground to red. Um, that's cool. And what should now... This top light is now flashing red. Oh, look at that. And there should be one at the bottom as well, I guess. I think. There it is. Cool. We've got red light flashing. Uh, lighting dimmers. I don't know. It depends how much light we want. It's fine. I don't think we need much in the day. Uh, that was that. I think. Was that that? Yep, that's that. Uh, right console. Okay. CS. Uh, this part I don't like because I don't know what PTT. Normal. Okay. So that's down to normal. HF is on. I think you do that somewhere here. Uh, okay, this I'm going to get wrong because I think it's that to stand by. I think that's, yeah. Uh, we're not going to use this, so I'm not going to worry about that. ILS on is required. Um, there was an ILS switch somewhere, but we're not going to use that. We're just going to, we're just going to wing it. Uh, cabin conditioning normal. Uh, where is that? It's it's pretty cool in here. I think it's at this here. Yeah, it's an auto. We'll go with that. Uh, auto. Sorry. Oh, so I don't know what this normal thing is in. Normal, 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 normal. Ah, that's it. Normal. Oops. Oh, we got air coming through. Okay, so canopy. We're gonna close now. I think I heard somebody say because everyone seems to close and lock it. But I think you only meant to close it so that you mustn't lock it yet in case you have to get out quickly when you start up. So I'm just going to go with closed, but I'm going to have to remember to lock it somehow. Okay, so that is all that stuff done. Now we can go to the engine start, so the pre-start. Uh, this part's quite easy. I've never done this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Pre-start engines. Engine, uh, engine start switch is to on. Is that this guy down here? Yep, so we, just to on, not to start. Yes, and anti collisions must be onto red, which is what we did over here, and they're on red. So we're good there. Okay, so when this happens, that's it, we're gonna start. So I hope I've done everything. That thing's still got that thing there, that thing's still there, I don't know why, but I don't know if they're meant to be there. Lots and lots of warnings, but anyway, I'm sure that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is a relight button. I think it's that button over there we're going to switch, and then we have to wait for these things to go green. Then once it goes green, then we press this to start and then release. Then we should see the rotation thing go to, and then that thing should go to 15 to 20%, and then we just put the throttle to idle. I think that's easy. Okay, so relay position. I believe it's this here, and we press and release. Now we should hear stuff. Oh, okay. So now we've done that. GTS indicator. Waiting for th we're waiting for this guy to go green, because I believe what's happening is this thing here starting up. Yeah, you can see heat coming out of it. So we're waiting for that to go green. I really hope it goes green. Ah, there we go, green. Uh, engine start switch. So now we've got to put this to start and then let go. Now what's happening? Something's rotating. That's a good sign. So confirm the green and RPM to 15 to 20%. Where's RPM? It's this here. So there, it'd be nice if it stopped around 20. Eee oh shit, I don't know why it's gone past 20. 
I don't know, that thing says 15 to 20, but that's gone up to 30. Am I looking at the wrong thing? RPM. RPM. Oh, this... Hmm. Oh, when it gets to that, I think, then you put the throttle to idle. Okay. Now starting. Uh, that's what we've done. During start. Confirm black. We've got a black. That thing is... Rotation has gone black. Fire caption. We do not have an engine fire. That's a great sign. I think now we can actually lock our canopy. Let's do that, in case I forget. Uh, I think it's that there. Right, locked. Uh, RPM 50% or greater. Just over 50. Uh, okay, so we're meant to have oil. Uh, FPR. A whole lot of these things must be off. I think they have all gone off. That seems good. Flight control is free and correct. So we'll just move this up. Seems right. Tick item. Uh, hide to reset. Uh, I think that was over here. I think you press this. Bunk. And there we go. So hydraulics are all cool. Uh, CWP, so now we should lose our hydraulics. Yeah, now we've lost those lights. It's a good sign. Uh, all off except anti skid. Excellent. We've started the plane. After start. Trims set to neutral. I think the trims are. Find the trims. I know there's a rudder aileron, but there's a pitch trim somewhere. Ah, this is it here. Is it? Yeah, okay, that's at zero. So we're good. Uh, trims are neutral. Now, I don't know how to test the air brake. I know that there's a switch here that you have to put that up and then flick something, but I'm not going to do it. Because we don't need a trim. Uh, Pito heat is going to go on. Flex select, flap select is going to be going to mid. Uh, now let me just remember, there's a weird thing. Flap selector, there we go, mid. And that should go down to the mid. <laughs> Two and a half. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look outside. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Uh, what's next? Uh, hydraulic gauges. Hydraulic gauges are all good. Test and set. Test and set QFE. Test and set altimeters. How do you do that? But we're going to set this to uh, ground level because I believe that's what they do in the military, not to the Q and H stuff. Or is that just for air shows? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. calm down. Which way am I going at? One more. Wait, we're under the ground now. That's fine. It's close enough. Uh, all clear. Oh, we've got our anti-skid on still. What did I press here? Oh, that's weird. Anti-skid is off. All lights are clear. Indicators are all erect. That thing there and that thing there. <laughs> erect. Compass sync. So we're looking at our compass and we are, what is that? 31, 32, 32 and a half, is it? Yep. I think it's close enough. I don't know how to read those things. Uh, compass is synced. DJI as required. Uh, we're not going to... It's not required. Okay, now navigation. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but... I'm going to try use the Brisbane um, VOR, which I think is 113.2. I'm just looking at my little map here. 113.2, yeah, but I don't know if this is going to work because I've never got it working. So maybe if we switch that to VOR... I was hoping something would happen here, but it hasn't. Because we want to fly at, is it 42? I think that would be perfect, but I don't know. I don't think this thing's working. Um, oh, there's marker. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Damn. Anyway, that seems to be working. No guns. Okay, taxiing, we'll make sure the area is clear, so... Oh, there's a dude connected. I want you to disconnect. Wait a second, I don't want that guy there. 
Uh, stop pushback. Yeah, don't touch my plane. I'm just going to go straight, so you better get out of my way. That's pretty cool. Oh, check that. Sweet. So our taxi area is clear, and we're going to head out that way, actually. So we'll just follow. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so taxi area is kind of clear. Parking brake will be released just now. Uh, brakes will test them when we start moving, and we'll check that all the stuff's all right. Okay, let's do that. I think we're ready to go. So, excuse my head position here, but if I press that, I believe, I'm going to go down a bit, and I think that's a good head position there. Just bring my hotas in front of me. Okay. Alright, parking brake is released. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, it's down here, but it's disappeared. I'll put it back on. Ah, there it is there. Parking brake is released. We can now move. So, we'll give it a bit of juice. Whoa! <laughs> That's cool, I was just taking a look. It's quite difficult from the outside. Uh, brakes tech. There we go. Oh, they seem to work pretty well. Okay, so we'll go trim set to neutral, put our switches on, and let's get back on the plane to do these. Eh? Uh, how do you do this while you're moving? It sucks. Uh, trim set to neutral. That's still at zero. That's cool. Put a switch is on. Put a switch is on. Anti scoot is on. We don't have a light. Uh, flaps, flap selector is still at mid, I believe. There we go. At mid. Take item, look where we're going. Uh, landing light is not on. I don't believe I put that on. Uh, where the hell is our landing light? Uh, I think that's it there. So now... Oh, that front thing's meant to be on, but I don't see it. But I'm pretty sure that's a landing light. Anti-collision light is now on white. Uh, so I think we put those up. I think I've put them off actually. That's them on. At white. Trying to steer at the same time. We don't do takeoff is Okay, and we're done with that now. Right. Let's do this. Try not to crash after all that, please. No wind. We will not be using any form of ATC here. I'm gonna zoom back a bit because I think I'm too close. And sit up in my seat a bit more. And we'll just wait here. Take a look around. Nothing. Runway's clear. One last look at the plane before I break it. That's pretty smooth. Okay. Uh, so what I, what we do at takeoff is I believe at 90 knots we lift the nose wheel off the ground. But don't rotate. And then at 110 then we start rotating. And then we have to have our wheels and flaps up before we hit 200 I think I don't know but I'll get them up pretty quick and then we're going to turn to a heading of 042 and I think that will get us pretty close to Brisbane altitude will be at our discretion same as speed because uh, I'll battle to c control that it's a thing runway behind you is the most useless thing or something so I'll try Use as much as we can. Wow, that looks pretty short. No. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I really don't want that talking. Hang on a second. I've got the radios off. That's stupid. 
Uh, ex excuse the ATC, I don't want it, so I'm going to ignore it. Okay, so we're going to take off, we'll climb a bit, we'll trim at 200, then we'll take a turn to uh, zero, f so we'll left turn to zero four two somewhere around there. Actually, where this little dude's pointing, excellent. Okay. Uh, so, engine will go to full power, which is a 104%. Once that's 104, we'll let go. Off we go, down the runway. 90, bring the nose off the ground. 110, rotate. Climb up. Uh, get to 200, trim. Don't forget to bring the wheels and the flaps in. Let's do that. So, here we go. Watching that. We're at 100. Uh, there's 100. Okay, off we go. Trying to keep it straight ish. Watching the speed. There's 80. There's 90. Nose off the ground, please. Nose is off the ground. Trying to keep straight. 110. Rotate. We're up. Gear up. Gear is supposed to be coming up at this point. There comes the gear, flaps up. Trying to keep straight. That's us at 200. Trying to trim. That's good enough. And uh, we're going to start our left turn. It's us at four, uh, 400 knots. Oh. Saying bye bye to Amberly back there. Let's take a look at our aircraft. That's pretty smooth. Ah, I see Brisbane in front of us. Unfortunately, this is not showing anything. 113.2. I thought that was Brisbane. Okay. Let's go a bit low. No warnings. 500 knots. bit of buffeting because I think I assume we're going too fast. Let's do a little inverted flight so lift the nose a bit and over we go. Whoa! Back we come. So what we'll do is head over to um, Mount Kuta. Altitude 600 feet. I think that's temperature or something. It's the uh, city of Brisbane. So what we'll do is fly up that river pretty low. Oh, yeah. So we'll go past the Gabba, which is over there. This in VR would be a lot easier. Ok, 
Okay, pulling four Gs. I think I've pulled five. That's the Gabba. Gee, this aircraft's loud. Not too many G's, so we're looking. Oh, eight, six. Doing a knife edge. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Damn it. Smoke on, and we will go with uh, white. No. Yeah, I'd be passed up by now, I'm pretty sure. Good there. <laughs> That'd be Bowen Hills Railway Station there. The hospital. Just watching my speed. 300 knots through a little bit of cloud. Oh, we were there just last night. That's pretty cool. See our smoke somewhere. There it is. All right, looking at our fuel, we don't have much left, so we're going to head back home. So we'll go back to Brisbane and we'll try this funny break. Thing where you fly over the runway and then do a turn to slow down. So, in front of us is the bridge, and there's the airport over there. Oh, we'll go the new runway. Computer's playing games, it's going all slow on me now. Okay, so we're throttling back now. It's 400 knots, it's pretty fast.
Okay, and now we start our break, which is just a turn, slowing down. 300 knots. 350. Oops, too much, damn it. Whoa, got my head all wrong here, hang on. Slowing down, so we'll wait for 200 knots and then we'll put our wheels down. That's how you kill speed. Okay, wheels traveling. Okay, flaps down. Bit low. Now I stuffed this up last time, so watching the speed, 150 knots is what I think we want here. I don't know how to put the speed brake, so we're going to land quite fast. It's 150. I think it meant to cross the threshold at 110 or something. Oh, it's unstable. One twenty holding that nose up as long as I can now. Oh, yes, nose wheel down. Oh, bounce the nose wheel. Oh, let's try to sit down in my seat. Braking flaps up. I made it. That is incredible. That actually is incredible fun. So I think it was zero one left that we landed on there. <laughs> hey, that was cool. That was very cool. Any moment now, I'll just take a peek and see if we've still got all the parts of the plane on. I hope so. Whoa, that's turning quite fast. It leans over a bit. Alright, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, smoke's still on. Probably should switch that off at some point. Let's get back inside. And I think all we do is switch that off. So we should be good on the smoke. Looking forward to trying this side of the airport in real life. In the back, of course. Um, wow. So this is Brisbane Airport. I think there's a road underneath here to get to the general aviation. So there's a little tunnel. I don't know if we'll see it too well, but yeah, that's a road underneath us. I should probably keep straight. That must be where well, the fire trucks park. That's the main terminal and everything over there, but we're just going to go over here because because that's a long way. Uh, I could probably do these checks now, but I don't feel like it because I'm just happy we got this far after takeoff, pre descent, before landing, short final. Wow, I wouldn't know how you'd read all this stuff when you're doing it. Uh, lock save. Put achieve off. Uh, let's do that because I know it gets a bit hot, doesn't it? Uh, that thing is good. Checked. Anti skid is off. Why would you put. I, I assume that's not for skidding the wheels. Pressures. All good. Flap selector is up. Gun selection we don't have, 
don't have, don't have, don't have. Landing light is going to go to. That's not it there. Hang on a second, I'm just watching where I'm driving first. I'm going left here. Hang on a second, I've gone the wrong way. Oh no, I'm meant to be over there. No. No, I blew it. I blew it. I'm an idiot. Am I? No, hang on a second. No, I am meant to be there. I was going the right way. Okay, we'll just, we'll just remember to edit that out. Because I was doing fine. Until I doubted myself. Uh, right, we're trying to fix the landing light, weren't we? That's up there. Off. Anti-collision. Off. Wouldn't you, you don't need those on the ground. Those are off. Um, radios are required. I've been using them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, friendly foe thing. That's this thing here. So we'll go back to off. Nope, that one there must be off. Where am I going? I think that thing's meant to go off somehow. Is it this one yet? There we go. Off and off and off. Cool. Shutdown will be our next thing. So we'll do that, and then we'll say we've we've done a full flight. That's pretty cool. I don't think I'll get it right. Hey, there's another one of my baits. Hey, hey, dude, how you doing? That's pretty cool. Shall I go park next to him? Let's see if we can go park next to him. That'll look pretty cool, both of us. Caravan. Um, how do we get to him? Let's follow this, but and then we'll go around the back. Oh, I can't believe I lost my mouse again. Oh, this time I really have lost my mouse. I'll quickly reset it. I need a new mouse. I can still steer though, don't panic. And I can still brake, I just can't look around. No, I've lost my mouse. I can look with that thing. There's my mate, so I'm going to park at this one here. I think I'm too early, but that's alright. Uh, right, oh, there's my mouse back. Uh, parking brake will go back on. There we go, we got a parking brake. Now we just got to work out what to do, I haven't done that. So parking brake is on, check. Engine start switch to off. I think that's that there. Uh, fuel pump switch to off. HP, so it's this thing here. Uh, no, don't do that. Okay, all that stuff that up. Anyway. I believe that's our flight. Unlock and open. Get some air. That's a, oh, that's a French one, is it? Okay. Our one looks way better. I think. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, probably put those things off. I don't know what else to do here. I guess you could just switch the batteries off and everything would die, would it? There you go. I don't think you meant to do that, but anyway. Uh, we put our chocks in, put our things, bring our steps out. Got steps, and we are out of our plane. And that's it. We have completed a full flight. I can't believe I did it. Pretty boring at the start, but I don't know. I had a lot of fun. Excellent.